Welcome to the Real Estate Investing Podcast, where we help you unlock your potential freedom through land investing, real estate investing, and entrepreneurship. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the show. My name is Ron Ecke, your host for this episode. And today we are discussing the future of land investing. What is it is going to be in the next year, the next three years, the next five years, and beyond that. And in this, we're going to discuss where I view the most lucrative opportunities that are going to be in land investing, in land flipping, whether it's flipping, developing, investing, anything like that, anything with land, that is what we are going to discuss today. What I see, how people are going to be making $5 million, $10 million, $20 million per year in land three years from now, five years from now, and beyond, like I said. And also how things are going to change in the, the industry. As competition comes in, I'm going to go all over that. How is, how is, how are strategies going to change as more people enter the industry, as house flippers, house wholesalers, all these different industries come into land. How is that going to change things for the better, for the worse, everything in between? I will get into it. Really looking forward to this episode. So let's just start on a very basic level right now, guys, like where is land investing right now? 2023, it's September, it's October, early October, 2023, where is land investing? And for some of you who have been in land investing, let's say you've been in for six months, three months, you just started last month. Some of you might think if you haven't come from another industry, there's competition in land. And it's like, I'm fighting for deal, whatever the situation is. The reality is land as a whole today is a blue ocean. There is so much opportunity within land, whether like the traditional way that we teach is buying for 40, 45% of the market and reselling on the market. And the reason we teach this, the reason we believe in this method, the reason this works still today is because there's so little competition in land. There are markets where there is competition. Like I, I don't fight that at all, 100%. Any industry you go into, there is going to be some level of competition. But land, the opportunity within land right now, we say it, it's a blue ocean. Like there is so, it's such a wide array of opportunities out there. It is a level 10 opportunity where you can secure and build your financial future financial freedom, the life you want to build through land investing. That's the coolest thing, guys, is getting into this now, getting into this industry now could change you your future completely. It could cause you or give you the ability to quit your job six months down the line, 12 months down the line, 18 months. Maybe you don't want to quit your job and you just want some extra vacation money or you want to retire earlier. I don't know. Um but that is what is so cool about land right now. And like I said, there are markets where there's competition. Like there is competition with the land. I'm not trying to fight and say there's no competition in land relative to other industries, not just houses, not just real estate, relative to other industries, there is little to no competition in land. You will run into people who are in the same markets as you. It's going to happen, but fighting through those times trying to squeeze out some deals when that happens is so important. And that's why we're seeing the people who are the most successful in our program are the people who kind of fight through those tough times where maybe they don't get a deal for two, three weeks. House flipping householders might not get a deal for six months. Like that is a real thing. If you're doing anything in land, you should get one deal every two months. Like at bare, bare minimum, you should not be going on three, four, five, six month streaks without getting a deal. But um, right now, land investing guys in general, like the opportunity is there. That's why we can buy land at such a low value relative to market is because there is such little competition because there's such high opportunity within it. But let's kind of move right in. So as competition increases, house wholesalers, household, house flippers, um, all these different people, like they're eventually going to, I, I would think maybe I'm wrong and it just stays like this forever, but
but people and it slowly happens and people dip their toe in the water and land and then they step back to household sailing or whatever the situation is but as competition increases what do i think is going to change essentially and it's a it's a good question that i think about a lot because one of the things we do as a program, one of the things we do is try to stay ahead of the game because strategies are going to change. Like that is inevitable. Strategies are going to think change. And I think the biggest thing, like I do think we are going to be able to get properties for 40, 45% of market value for the next five to 10 years. This is land. It's not houses where people are living there and you need to get them to move out of their house. This is land where I think we can buy these at a significant discount for the long, long future. I I truly, truly think that. But as people come in, as competition increases, I I just think strategies. I think it's going to be more of a salesman game. So multiple touch points. So right now we are obviously huge. If you guys watch any of us, any of our content, we are huge on direct mail, sending direct mail to vacant landowners and acquiring land at significantly reduced prices. I still think the reduced prices are going to be a thing, but I think the sales aspect is going to be bigger. So you building a relationship with these sellers, you may be sending a text, having automated text campaigns, multiple touch points is going to be a thing, or maybe not one piece of mail gets you a deal as much. But if you send a piece of mail, you send a follow-up text, maybe you send a second piece of mail, you are going to get a high, high volume of deals. I also think as competition increases, your service to the sellers, it's always so important, service to the sellers. But your word with sellers, your follow through with sellers, your speed with the sellers, I think is going to come through huge. Like I I really, really think that the speed that you can do this business is how you make the most money. People want money and sometimes people don't want their land anymore. They can't pay their taxes, whatever the situation is. If you can follow through with your word, get them $60,000, even though it's worth 120, but you can get them their money. You can get it through title in two weeks, three weeks, whatever you tell them and you follow through, the seller is going to be so scalable. But if you are constantly trying to like, hang sellers on and keep them on board or you're trying to wholesale a property and not being transparent with them with that, I think that's when businesses will suffer greatly and people can fail in this industry. But that's the main thing when competition increases. You need to increase your service. Right now, you should be. Competition isn't crazy, obviously. You should be trying to provide the best service to the sellers as possible, provide the most value to them, Anything that provides a ton of value is more scalable. So try to do that same thing in this business model. So next, let's get into, let's kind of back it up, back it up to what I would do if I was just getting started in land. Um, Honestly, guys, like the biggest thing, the biggest gap that I see from people making $150,000 in land and $2 million dollars is one, it's just a volume game. And two, it's just education. Like if I was just getting started in land and I knew nothing about it, it's a, and that's what I did when we started five, six years ago, you need to absorb all the information possible. You need to learn about different strategies. Um, just educate, educate, educate. Then once you decide what route you want to go, whether it's land flipping, whether it's wholesaling, we believe in flipping. We believe in direct mail, flipping land, buying for 40,000, selling for a hundred thousand, do it time and time again. And you are going to put, you're going to collect a ton of money. Like it is going to scale very, very fast for you. That's what we believe in. Um, but going back to the question, like if I was getting started, you got to educate yourself on all different aspects of land and, maybe you don't go one route, like maybe you don't end up wholesaling, but you learn something while you're learning about it. And you can bring that over. Like we have a lot of people who came from wholesaling info lots. We don't believe in info lots as much right now, especially 
but we have so many people who came from that industry and they're bringing something over, combining it with the education that we teach and they are wildly successful. So that is the biggest thing when you're getting started in something new, I think is that education, that learning curve, you need to be constantly educating yourself. You need to be a part of the community calls. You need to be just education, education, like that is the biggest thing. And then taking action, following that up by taking action. So we've kind of talked about competition increase in what I would do when I get started, if I got something land, where land is right now. So let's go to fast forward five years from now. Where do I think the people are going to be making the most money in land? Like what niche? We could say what niche or just like what part of land, like what is going to be, who who is going to be the most successful? Like, and I'm not going to talk about ground up subdivision developing or ground up commercial building developing because I mean, yeah, that's, you use land to build, but it's not really, it, it's more, that's a combination, that's development. So I'm, I'm not counting that in this, but what I think, honestly, guys, it is, it, it, it's going to be people who can, I think it's going to be a combination of, su- of subdividing and subdividing and doing some work on those lots. So let's say you have 50 acres, you split it up into, uh, I don't know, 10, five acre lots. You put driveways, you put septic, you put wells on all 10 of those lots. I think the value in having building ready land the value in having mobile home ready land, whatever the situation is, is going to be huge. Combining that with subdividing. I think subdividing and the smaller the parcels you can get and subdividing, sometimes it's a longer 12, 18 month project. The smaller you can get on those parcels, typically the more money you will make if you are doing it correctly. It's also more risky when you break it down lower. But I I think project-based things with land are going to be without a doubt where people are going to be making the most money. It's where our business, like I'm not saying we're doing project-based every deal, but we are trying to do more. It's probably 30% of our business right now, project-based, whether it's subdividing, whether it's clearing the land, whether it's putting in a driveway, utilities, anything like that. It's a big part, not a big part, but it is a higher percentage of our business than it was 24 months ago. And I am not saying doing your first deal, having it be a big subdivision or having it be putting in a driveway, don't force these deals, but you've done three, five land flips. Let's start looking into that a little bit because then you can take that $50,000 profit you are making and maybe make $300,000 on your next deal. And that's the reality of it if you get the correct properties. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any comments you guys want future videos of, please put them in the YouTube comments. Reach out in Discord if you have any suggestions at all. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Thanks again. Bye. As always, thank you for joining. Please do us a huge favor and like and subscribe our YouTube channel and share this with a friend. It really means the world to Ron and I, but more importantly, it could help change the life of someone else. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next episode.